Hey, welcome to Mineral Talks Live, the weekly live webinar that brings you in-depth and in-person interviews with the mineral people from around the world. Mineral Talks Live is brought to you by a joint effort among the Mineralogical and Geological Museum at Harvard University, the Society of Mineral Museum Professionals, and Blue Cap Productions. Tune in every Wednesday and stay connected to your mineral world. Now, broadcasting live from beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, the land of aloha, ukuleles, and shakas, this is Mineral Talks Live. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the show. Um, I'm going to let everybody know right now that we are going to be recording the show because right after we finish the show, I want to be able to post this online on YouTube so that anybody who's curious as to what's going on at the Denver show right now, they can, they can watch this show immediately as opposed to waiting four weeks way after the Denver show starts. So uh, let's go ahead and start the show. Um, it's Aloha Friday. Happy Aloha Friday, everybody. No Thank you for joining us here today on uh, Mineral Talks Live Friday Happy Hour. And uh, this is a program that we like to do occasionally where we kind of leave it a uh, little unscripted and uh, we like to get uh, our viewers involved. So today is going to be a little bit different because what we're doing today is we're actually going to go live to the Denver show. And we've got about eight different dealers lined up who's going to, uh, and they're all going to tell us, show us what's going on at the show. And they're going to share with us some of the things that they've brought. So uh, we're looking forward to the show. We're looking forward to having a wonderful time. Thank you all of us, uh, or thank all of you for joining us. Um, before we start though, today is, as many people know, today is 9-11. And today marks the 19 year anniversary for when the Twin Towers were uh, horribly attacked. Um, in, um, in that event that none of us will probably ever forget. So if it is okay with everybody, I'd like to uh, observe a moment of silence and maybe we can give one minute of, a minute of silence um, and we can reflect on uh, maybe the people that we lost, the friends that we lost, and certainly the event that pretty much changed all of us. They're so doing a moment let's, of silence. Let's let's observe about a minute of silence, please. All right. Well, thank you all. Uh, for th Thank you, everyone, for uh, participating in that. For those of you who just turned in, that was a, a one minute of silence that we were doing to recognize and honor um, the, um, the people that we lost during 9-11, 19 years ago today. So a uh, very, very somber um, event, but we're hoping that um, with today's show, we can kind of kick it off a little bit and have a little bit of fun. I'm going to ask everybody if you can please make sure that your microphones are off because we're doing things that we've never tried before today, which is basically, uh, I'm here in Honolulu. We have Raquel there in Cambridge or Boston, Massachusetts, and Eloise is there in Paris, and Peter is there in Tucson. And so what we're going to try to do is to interface with a bunch of different dealers who are at the Denver show. Um, and this is the Crown Plaza show and the Just Mineral show. And the Just Mineral show, which 
started in Tucson at the Elks Lodge uh, right off Oracle. That, I think it was two or three years ago, uh, they started a show in Denver. And their original location, they were not able to um, secure that for this, this year. And so they talked with Sandra, who organizes the Crown Plaza show. And she provided space for them at the Crown Plaza show. So we're going to go to the Crown Plaza. And we have both shows going on there. They're in separate areas. But and you, for about five minutes, I'm supposed to do this little video interview thing with Brian Samoda. I'm going to have hey, you. Hey, Phil, you're me. cutting in a little bit early, but uh, that's great. Hey. hey what, what, we're going to be right Okay. Back. I'm kind of setting everything up. Great. So, um, Phil Pershawn, who you just saw, uh, and if you, have your, if you have your Zoom set for speaker view, I think that might be the best setting for everybody, because then what you're going to see is as the speakers start coming up, that's going to fill your screen rather than looking at the mosaic of faces all around the world. And so there's Phil again because he's talking louder than me. So the, 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 the system works for whoever is basically talking the loudest, making the most noise, it will switch to that view. So that might be the view that you want to check out. Um, again, the main Denver show at the Merchandise Mart and the fine mineral show Denver at the uh, Denver Marriott um, in, um, in Golden, Colorado. Both those shows were canceled due to the COVID-19 situation. So we have, um, I know on Wednesday, we did an interview with a gentleman with the people from Collector's Edge. And so they're having a little event at their, at their offices, but they're also exhibiting at the uh, Crown Plaza show. And so... I don't know exactly how many dealers are exhibiting at each show. Peter, do you have any idea, any better thought on that? Um, my understanding is there's about 70 at uh, the Crown Plaza. And I would guess another 10 or 15 at the Just Mineral Show, but I, I that one I really don't know about. That's a pure guess. Okay. All right. Thank you. So it's obviously a much smaller show than we're used to seeing in Denver. The Coliseum show is also going on there, um, but we, we, we didn't schedule any interviews for any dealers there. Uh, we just wanted to focus on, on these two shows. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut to Phil Pershawn. I'm going to ask everybody again, please make sure that your microphones are off so that the system doesn't inadvertently cut back to you. And let's go to Phil Pershawn and see what's going on. Oh, wait, hang on. Eloise has her hand raised. Yes, I'm okay? sorry, Brian. Can you just make Raquel and I, and I co-host so we can actually um, help people muting their mics, if you don't mind, before we switch? Thank you very much. Sorry, guys. Oh my God, you're asking me to do technical stuff that I have no idea how to do. <laughs> because we cannot do, we cannot do it as we're not co-hosts anymore. Thank you. Okay, I just made you co-host. Perfect. And we Thank got uh, Raquel the Red Fox, who is now co-host also. Is that, did I do that properly? You did it perfectly. Thank you. Good. Thank you. And so people around the world have not been disconnected. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go live to the Crown Plaza floor. We have Phil Pershawn from Collector's Edge. Phil, how you doing, buddy? All right, I'm doing fabulous. Uh, can you see me here on the video? Am I, am I good? I've got Zach Giuliani's being cameraman here for me. Well, I could see Zach, but I can't see you. I think you need to flip, okay, flip the camera. Let's, let's flip on. around here. Let me see about flipping this. And Zach, flag. that's a really creepy look. You can't just stare at the camera with eyes like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's not respond. I'm okay, trying to whoops. hit this. Flip All right, button. let's let's just... we're gonna we're gonna flip this camera around here. See if we can. All right. I think it is. It's just hard to tell which one we're oh. looking at. Okay. okay. All right. Are are you guys seeing a, a view here with beautiful minerals in a case? Yes, we are seeing that. Okay, fabulous. I'm going to have Zach. You got muted, Faye. We cannot hear we you. We lost your audio. There you oh, go. Try okay. it again. Okay, there we can go. everybody okay. hear me okay here? Perfect. Right. It's a little loud. We're in a convention center here, but hi, everybody. My name's Phil. We are at the Collector's Edge booth at the Crown Plaza 2020 Gem and Mineral Show here in Denver. Uh, I want to take a few minutes to show everybody some of our new minerals that we have here, uh, including some freshly mined material. So 
we'll have a quick look at these cases here. So these are some of our new rotocross sites uh, just mined this season. Uh, those of you who saw our Wednesday program uh, have already seen some of these, but we've got two shelves of these out for sale here. Uh, really nice Jemmy Red rotoprocytes collected this past July. Uh, this is out of Dino's Pocket. This was found in early July 2020. And a wonderful Jemmy Red rotoprocyte ROM with a little bit of sphalerite and uh, chalcopyrite and some other sulfides. So uh, we've got two shelves of these here available for the first time at the Denver show. Lots of nice thumbnails for those of you who are into thumbnails and miniatures. We've got some really wonderful quality single crystals that came out of these two pockets. And these have only been out of the ground about a month and a half. So truly what's what's new in Denver here. Uh, we're really happy to have some great new rhodochrosites available. In addition to the rhodochrosites, we have some great worldwide minerals as well, uh, including some new things that maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, while we're on this case here, I'll point out a couple nice things that are fairly new. This wolfenite here is from the La Marita mine in uh, Chihuahua State, Northern Mexico. And a lot of you have seen these La Marita wolfenites before, but we've been working to prep and clean some additional specimens. I, I believe this specimen was collected in 2019 and just really wonderful quality, thick tabular wolfenite crystals with nice luster. You can see some calcite crystals associated here. So that's a nice example of, of one of our La Marita wolfenites that's, that's fairly new. Uh, something that's a couple of years old that you may have seen in Tucson a few years ago are these wonderful dioptase specimens from the Calcavel Plateau in Namibia. Uh, we got these in 2017. These were mined in the uh, Andera mine, I believe, which is in the Calcavel Plateau region of Namibia. And just really wonderful quality dioptase, very jammy, very lustrous. Uh, a lot of these came out in these kind of floater clusters like this, really crystallized all the way around. So uh, this is a, a fairly new piece as well from a, from a contemporary locality. We've also got some great uh, tourmalines from the Malkon district in Russia. These are from the Sosedka pegmatite. And uh, I was very fortunate to work on a mineralogical record article that came out last year on the Malkon district and talking about the mineralogy and petrology and geology of these amazing pegmatites in the Baikal region of Russia. So we have some very nice, large rubellite tourmalines. Uh, these crystals can get up to 20, even 30 centimeters from this locality. And these were mined about 2016, 2017, I want to say, uh, from the Sasegka pegmatite, which is the main tourmaline producing locality in Malkan. So some really nice red tourmalines from Malkan in here. Uh, let's go over to the second case here, and I'll show you a couple more nice fairly new things. Phil, we're running kind of short on time. Uh, we've got uh, Daniel Ulabari from Pirita, Piritas de Navajun left. If he's online, we might have to switch to him, but if not, then okay. continue. <laughs> Daniel, are you online? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, do you want to cut it short there, or do you want me to show you a few more things? Well, um, I think you've got one more minute, so why don't you kind of share some more stuff? All right. All right. One more minute. We're going to do a quick tour of the top shelf here. Uh, I want to point out a really nice Bornenite from the Machaca Market District in Bolivia. We got these last year. This is just a really nice three-dimensional piece. Nice, nice luster here on this Bornenite. So that's, that's fairly new. Uh, this is a piece that is very old. It came out of the ground many years ago. But I love these classic Michigan silvers on copper, the so-called half-breeds. This is a really nice example, big silver crystals on copper, super classic piece from the Keweenaw Peninsula Copper District of, of Upper Michigan. So that's a nice old classic. Uh, wonderful Milkius Azurite right there from the Steve Neely collection. And we'll end on another classic here, really nice Perargerite with some Stephanite from Schlima in uh in the former East Germany, real classic for Europe, really nice large margerite crystals with fairly good luster and some staphanite associated. So I love my black uglies in addition to beautiful, colorful minerals. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sampling. Great gold sure. here, by the way, from the Round Mountain Mine in Nevada. Really wonderful what up? specimen on quartz. This is from the Proctor Trying collection. to log in into the... Big gold crystals. You know how to do this? Okay, that sounds so, like, uh, uh, anyways, sounds like I've got uh, Daniel on the line there. Yeah. That's a little bit of what we have, so let's, let's switch it over to Daniel here.
All right, Phil, All right, Phil uh, hang on the line just in case we have to come back to you. Daniel, is that you online? Yes, that's me. Okay, can we switch over to Daniel's camera? Yeah, there you go. I don't think he has his camera on. Daniel, it sounds like you may not have your camera on. Can you with your right. phone? I can see, I think you're Let one. Let me see. Of, yeah, you're one of the iPhones. You may need to switch on your camera. And Brian, okay. in the meantime, I have a question from Leslie, which is a very good question. Is, um, how the COVID situation is affecting the, the Denver show and how people are getting um, um, taking care of this situation, that what's it, what's about the digital, social distancing and all the security, health and security that is in place at the Denver show. That's a great idea. Phil, did you did you hear that question? Phil left. We lost Phil. We lost Phil? Okay. Yeah. We couldn't see anyone really. We saw the minerals, which were great, but we are also very curious to see right. how is really the, the environment. I agree with Les. Daniel, do we have uh, do we have you on video yet? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, we have my is. my friends are helping me out. Yeah. So Good to see you. Here. I'm tech. Apparently, I'm tech. I'm tech. Oh. Where's my help? <laughs> Thank you. They're that my was, that was Will Larson, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. Uh, why don't we start with uh, that question that uh, Les Presmick had? How is the COVID situation affecting uh, the show? They just started. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's take some videos. Well, you know it's. Less. It's been a crazy year for all of us, especially the ones you know. It was on there. I kept missing it. Okay, wait, hang on, Daniel. I'm going to ask everybody who's on right now to mute your microphones, please, so that we can listen to Daniel. Okay, continue, Daniel. Daniel, I am... Yes. yes. Thank you. Now we hear you. Sorry, I mute you by mistake. No worries. No problem. So, the que are going back to the question. Well, we're, we used to do about 12 shows per year. This is our second show in the year. So it has affected us uh, tremendously. Uh, we're very happy and excited that the Denver show is actually going through on. We're very happy to see that people are showing up and that they're excited to be here. I think all of us, you know, we were dying to go out and, and this is the perfect excuse to do something that we really love. You know, and as we already know, all of us that are following this link and are seeing these videos, we share the love for minerals, for rocks and minerals. So this is great to see your friends. You know, it's a great time to catch up and to see the new finds. For us, we have a product uh, that people look for and we're very happy, you know, that people are here. You know, there's a lot of wholesale buyers and early this morning I was super busy. I'm still actually, well, this is my booth right now. So I have a few people um, going through and looking at our specimens. We specialize in the pirate cubes from Spain. Um, that's what we're uh, known for. I'll show you what we have. So this is what, what we're known for. So all of you are familiar with pirate cubes. This is what, what we do. All right. So I just hang until he like jumps so, on yeah. or something. Yeah, no, Daniel, you have some of the great pyrites that come out there. You've been kind enough to donate some of those to the Keiki Mineral Club here in Hawaii. So we are extremely thankful of that. Um, can you show some of the, the latest things that you've brought out? Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, this is well, my favorite piece will be this large plate wow. of pyrite. So this is the perfect specimen that also serves as a decoration piece, but it also so great enough as a, as a specimen uh, itself. It just happens to be a really large plate. Um, it's also a good piece to show people how the, the pyrites are formed. It's hard to explain. You know, a lot of actually... A lot of our, our people that visit our shows don't realize that pyrite comes so perfect in a cubic form. Most of the times they think it's cut or polished, believe it or not. Even uh, for us, it's, it's, it's easy to believe because we've seen them. But for people that see it for the first time, they're still having a hard time understanding the formation. And seeing pieces like this really tells the story, especially when you look at them in the back and you can still see, I don't know if you can see the cubes that are oh, yeah. all in the back. That's great. That, yeah, so it's it's the perfect piece to to show uh, the the people you know about our specimens, and we have one we sell as a set. It's a little we call it little pyrite snake, but it goes from <laughs> large to small. So actually, people have a laugh, you know, every time they see something like that. But you know, we have larger specimens. We sell them by the flat. We also have have them in the matrix of the matrix. For some of us, 
that are watching the program but are not so familiar with them. This is how they look when you take them out of the matrix completely. So even though we're seeing the, them in the matrix right now, if we were to chisel them out, we will expose a perfect, perfect cube. A 130 million year old cube to be a little bit more specific. One of the other things that we have incorporated into our booth was uh, our, our Morita production. Uh, people don't realize, but I was actually the lead, uh, one of the leaders in La Morita project for Wolfenites. And we did a collaboration with Collector's Edge in the marketing of the specimens, but we wow. also have some, some here at, the, at my booth. So Wonderful. This is what. Those are what great. The I we, love like. seeing, we love seeing those. That's wonderful. Daniel, thank yes, you okay. so much for being a part of the show. Sorry to, we have to cut out of there, but we really appreciate that. Uh, I think we have Crystal Dinkle on the line from Pinnacle 5. Crystal, are you there? I heard her sign in uh, well, a moment ago. Thank you so much, Brian, for the opportunity. And we'll look forward to catching up with you guys. This is thank my Thank you, face. Daniel. Good luck. All Thank the best for the Stay show. Care, man. <laughs> Crystal, do we have you online there? Yes, I'm here. Can you see my video? No, I can see Raquel's video. <laughs> What's up with that box? Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, we got a picture of you. Uh, yeah, we have a picture, but not me. <laughs> oh. I think you need to switch uh, on your video. Okay. I did it. There you go. <laughs> now we can see you. There you are. <laughs> So happy to see you all. Great to see you. Thanks for being part of the show. How is the show there? You know, we're actually doing pretty well. We've had so many people coming out here who are just incredibly enthusiastic and excited and grateful to actually have an event to go to. Um, obviously, none of us have been doing shows for God, you know, pretty much since February. So right. good. Things are good. Now, what about what about the 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 uh, the visitors there? Are they all uh, wearing masks and practicing yes. social distancing? The only everybody's being super great. The only reason I don't have this on right now is because I'm actually in our back room and nobody's around me, so there's no like six feet issue, nothing like good. that. So I'm here. We're good. Um, mom and dad are in the front. I will take you out in a second if you guys would like to see them and maybe dad might have a second to talk. Um, I can also talk now. Uh, it just depends. We have, again, we have good customers. We're very excited Great. about this. That's exciting. So, uh, what about hand-washing stations like uh, Purell stations? They have those located throughout the show? Yes. So hand-washing stations are there. We also have Purell. Collector's Edge has Purell. Um, everybody's being very um, aware and cognitive of the situation. We don't want any issues and we don't want to by any means take advantage of the situation right now, which is the Rona. So this right. <laughs> so we're all just trying to keep it together. We're doing pretty well with it, but um I'm kind of boring. Why don't we uh why don't we see a couple of the fun things? How's that sound? All right. Let's see Joe do some dancing for us. Oh, he's not going to do that, but I do like that. <laughs> um, let me flip this over a second. Dad, can you say hi? Why, wave. Hi, Brian's hey, on Joe, there. How you doing? Great to see you, buddy. Hey. Ooh, look at that. The Amazonite masks your, or matches your mask. Yeah, so Dad wants everyone to come out and see some of these. This is uh, one of our favorite pieces from the Lucky oh, Monday so Market. Yeah. We're, we're pretty big fans. And uh, obviously from the back, you can see those smokies are pretty glassy as well as we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous Amazonite that are so very My guy in Mexico just showed great. me gem colorless apricots. Yeah, so dad, are you excited to be here? Oh, I'm very excited after <laughs> six months. Of yeah, exactly. Mining was fun, but really when it comes Why down don't to it, it's getting together with the people. Yes. And and sharing stories and seeing everybody. Right. And we and we absolutely love that. Yeah. That Joe, means we're with you hundred percent. We all wish that we could be there, but obviously we can't. But really glad that you could participate this way at the very least. Um so really quick, Dad, do you want to give a little mining update? Oh man, uh, mining this season was quite interesting, as everybody knows. You know, there wasn't a lot of money running around, so we committed to one month 
of uh, excavation. And at the end of the month, we had hit nothing. And I'm sitting there, well, this isn't going to bode well for Tucson or anybody that's looking for a really good Ambus Night Smoky Quartz. Right. So we went ahead and scraped up another month of uh, fees to go dig. Towards the end of the second month, we finally had the glimmer of a good paper night. And so we said, we got to finish the season now. One more week, one more week. And that's <laughs> when we hit, we hit a really, really great month. Yes, and we're super excited yeah. because we're going to release that in February at the uh, Tucson show. So regardless of any show that's going on, we'll be at our storage unit location, which we'll post on our website. Um, but we're super excited about the rain color. It, it's unbelievable. It is the most intact pocket ever discovered in the district. Yeah. I mean, well, Joe, you say that almost every and every year you prove that saying correct. And so if you're saying that again right now, I can't wait to see what you're going to have in Tucson. It's really I'm good. Because because that you're going to have it in Tucson. That's a that's a really quick turnaround. So we know Tim is it's working his this? little butt off. So Brian, it's this right here. Without repair. But better and unrepaired. No. Yes. So we're pretty stoked about it. Um, we're really, really excited, as you can imagine. So let me come back in this back room here for a second, and I'll show you some of our goodies that we have. So these are new, new specimens. Um, and I want to show everybody this really killer unrepaired piece. So it's kind of cool because Brian, you're showing everybody the uh, bathroom rocks right now. <laughs> and this is a really awesome unrepaired Amazonite smoky piece that we just discovered. And it's just a killer specimen. So if anybody's interested, let us know. And then of course we've got some other goodies here. So if anybody online is interested in these, let me know. We'll, we'll keep them secret um, in the sense that we'll do some PMs for you, but you know, nothing, nothing's really off limits in that sense. Just kind of let us know what you're interested in. We appreciate everybody's support out there online. And then Brian, thank you so much for doing this for us. We appreciate that very much. Um, it's great to bring people to the show. And again, our numbers are doing really well. We have quite a few people here who are very excited. We're all doing the social distancing and um, we're just we're happy to be here, and and I look like I was like electrocuted. Ugh, not a not a good look. So, <laughs> well, it's a combination of that snow what do you and do, then right? what I understand to be the temperature is going to be going up again soon. So it's doing craziness to your hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been kind of ballistic, but cool. Crystal, um, you have you been kind enough to volunteer to walk us over to the Just Mineral Show and uh, hang out while yes. we talk with Isaiah Casanova, who runs IC Minerals, yes. and he actually started the uh, Just Mineral Shows back in Denver. It's uh, Leonard Himes who's organizing it here in, uh, or I'm sorry, he started the Just Mineral Shows in Tucson. It's Leonard Himes who's organizing Leonard it here Himes. in uh, Denver. So. Um, if you're ready, let's uh, let's head on over there. And in the meanwhile, we can take a look at what some of the aisles look like, and you know the the All people. Hey, right, folks. Yeah, and I apologize if I can't hear too well. I'm doing my best. It's just kind of a you know a difficult thing sometimes. But we've got all the folks. Say bye, Dad. <laughs> yes so we'll see you on tucson we're super excited for it and i'll and let's see let me double check here really really quick with that hey that's like the justin also it's right across right uh i'm not we're just not okay that's what it was that's what i thought so we're gonna go around this ballroom here so we've got some other fellow dealers um this is all super positive. I know that, it, again, it's been a hard situation for everyone, but it's wonderful because people are still trying and they're doing their best to get out and about and actually support dealers and support collectors. And it's, it's a very positive, positive situation. Sorry if everything's super shaky. Check out those knives. Mm -hmm. Oh, big fan. All right. 
Hey, Crystal, is there any way that you can tell uh, where some of these visitors are coming from? I, I imagine a lot from the Denver area, but uh, what about outside Denver? So we've had quite a few people who have come in from outside the area. I've had a lot of Texas people, um, people from Such Arizona, people from Nevada. Okay. Which has been good. I've got some Cali folk right in front of us right now. <laughs> and um, that's Will season. Larson again. <laughs> Yep, Will Larson is here, and Rika, and I also saw Kyle Kevorkian earlier, which is great. Great. He's one of the, uh, the young up-and-comers, great collector, yes. great eye. Quite a wonderful thumbnail collector. Yes, yes, man, he's got some heck of a... Hey, there's James. Was that James Zigras? Um, there are only a few people that yep. are that lanky and tall in the mineral world. I think so. World. He's the only <laughs> super duper One tall person. Yeah. Exactly. There's a, where would Isaiah be? Mm -hmm. So this is the thing we were on such a short schedule. I was like, I didn't even have a second to come and say hi to him. Yeah, um, and again, my apologies for getting the time wrong. I, uh, no I, I surprised you all by pushing it up one hour because I calculated. I miscalculated. Right. Hey, James. You know where Isaiah says? Okay, so he's in the next ballroom. So I just showed you all this ballroom, which okay. is wonderful. <laughs> more dealers, more dealers. Um, something I was gonna mention is the fact that Sandra's done a really great job of making sure that everybody is distancing um, dealer-wise. Uh, so it's been good. We don't have as many dealers, but at the same time, we're doing a great job of having that, that distance, and it gives us a little bit more time to be more uh, connected with our customers, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And it certainly you know. wasn't an easy decision, and I applaud Sandra's uh, efforts in making it as safe as possible for everybody. And I applaud all yes. you dealers for following the rules and not uh, saying, ah, I'm going to do it my way. I mean, it's we're a community, and we have to, we have to always remember that and act uh, appropriately. Exactly. And I think the most important thing is to actually get back out there and try it. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes you have to bite the bullet and give it a shot and see if it works. And I applaud everyone for, for doing that right now, because uh, if we don't do that, nothing is going to start. Um, let's, oh, I see that gentleman right there. Do you guys see who I'm seeing? We're going to stalk him. I see Isaiah wandering around. He's, he, I think he's running away from you. He is. Hey, guys. Hey, Isaiah. Isaiah. Got somebody who wants to uh, Get away. do a live video with you. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> Look at these lovelies. Hi. Oh, hi, Blue. Okay. Oh, that's we'll our friend from Cristali. They're going to be on next. So we're going to go back to Lewis Nelson next. right after you. Yes. All right. Well, hi. How are you? Good. How you been? Good. I'm so happy to see you. Still up in the north somewhere? No, I'm not in the north anymore. No more Chicago. We're in uh, Plano, you. Texas. All yes. Right. Okay. Yes. So what are we doing here? Brian, what are we doing? Well, Isaiah, want to first thank you for being on the show. Um, uh, we're now in the Just that? Minerals section of the, the, Crown, um, the Crown Plaza. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how the show's going and then show us some of your rocks. All right. Show looks to be going pretty good. It's been uh, not, it's not like the just minerals event too, so obviously, but you know, we are kind of constricted over here, but so far it's been okay. I mean, everybody seems to be having a good time, a lot of good rocks. Uh, I'll show you a couple of new, I don't know, maybe your people want to see this. These are some of the new hemimorphites, which has a lot of scuttlebutt about, but these are real, as you can Those see. are the ones that are coming out of where, Ojuela? They are coming out of Ojuela. If you give me a second, I will show you a really choice one that I have buried in here. And, uh, you know, I tested these myself. I put them in acetone for about six hours, and the color stood. I cut a crystal in half. The color went all the way through, and you can see the blue tiny crystals in Matrix. So there's no doubt in my mind that these are these are real. These, these are, are real. Uh, the real McCoy. 
Ooh. This is real nice. It's kind of sculptural. Ooh. Okay. These are fantastic. And again, these are coming out. The color, I, I don't know how the color is coming through, but the color is, it's almost like a cabin site color. It's insane. Yep. It's like a, it's like a blue rock candy. Yes. Yeah. I actually had a customer who wanted to chew on one, but I didn't let him. <laughs> Probably not New a good idea. From a classic locality. Now, this is one, one of my favorite things. things. There's a couple, there's, there's a real nice bug here. Ooh. These have not been trimmed or nothing. They haven't even been cleaned. Okay? You can see the clear calcites. Okay. But here's another real nice one. This one has some beautiful bugs. Oh my gosh. And they, as you can see, the clear calcites also. And this is one of my, probably my favorite like right that one. now. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, it's got tremendous color. Sorry about That's that. That's fine. I got it. When I, why don't you put it a little bit yeah, under? Let's not the have there that you badge, go. And, you know, break a crystal. <laughs> no. You know, they're sturdier than they look. And this is the other side. Oh, that's so cool. That's a great piece. That's, I love it. You know, this is a beautiful one. I really like that one. That's probably my that's favorite. That's available now. So anyone who wants to buy it, get in touch with Isaiah right now. <laughs> that's you, all right. I don't know if you're going to get it. I might get it before you all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the usual and i'm here with leonard hi leonard hey leonard how you doing well you know i can't talk to the mask you know, hey, leonard how are you i am fine how are you and we're doing good brian Svoboda is with us right now so. leonard thank you so much for all the effort you've gone through to organize the just mineral shows there in denver i mean really a lot of work and Hats off to you, my friend. Yeah. Excuse me, but I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> we know that. We know that. We know that. <laughs> yeah, it's worked out well. We're, we're happy that we're here because we have so much more room with giant aisles, and we're able to uh, handle the number of customers who come in without any problems. Right. Couldn't be happier. And actually, people are showing up to buy rocks. That's the one. Agree. Rocks. I know. Isn't that That's wonderful? That's wonderful. Leonard, do you think you're going to stay in the Crown <laughs> Plaza <laughs> next year? <laughs> All right, wait a second. My, my, Isaiah is making so much noise in the background, I can't hear you. What was the question? Typical <laughs> Isaiah. You know, it's those Cubans. I'm trying to sell a damn rock. <laughs> this is live, by the way, online. That's what, I should be in this call room. This seems so much more fun. You guys are now the mineral Laurel and Hardy. I have to give him something to shout about. <laughs> So you were asking a question about next year, was it? Yes. Yeah, do you we're, think you're going to stay there in the Crown Plaza? Is that possible? <laughs> Crown Plaza, would you like to stay here next year in the Crown Plaza, or are you going to go back to another location? I'm going to stay here because we have very good exposure, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, because assuming next year is a normal year, all of these rooms, like we're in, they come look at this. And we're only able to be here because they canceled. So we'll oh, be I see. About a mile down the, the road here, just a couple a of live Denver show. Uh, What's that location? The Marriott? Okay. Wonderful. So the Marriott okay, so. location, it's about like a mile and a half down the road. Yeah, on the right hand Nobody side. There. No product, is Wonderful. Okay, so next year things return back to normal. You're still close to uh, the Crown Plaza. So uh, one visit to the people can visit both shows. Right. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Hey, Leonard, thank you again so much. Really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you for all you do to promote our industry. Yes. My yeah, pleasure. Like My pleasure. Uh, we're going to cut over to uh, the Cristali people. Isaiah, Morris, are you hi. online with us? Sayonara. Isaiah, mahalo, man. All right. Enjoy it. Have fun, man. Be safe. Okay. Bye, friends. Crystal, thank you for uh, taking us on a tour. I'm going to ask you to stay online just in case we don't have uh, Lois online. Uh, Lois, are you there? Pretty sure she's there. Oh, she's talking to somebody. She's making some sales. What a she's girl. making a sale. I like uh, it. Crystal, would you mind maybe going over and we can talk to Donna if uh, Lois is all tied up? And I don't sure. That, Donna's uh, holding everything up right now, so you're good. <laughs> hey, Donna, how are you? I can't see you. I can see your, your the lights. <laughs> No, I'm done. It's your turn. Woohoo! Hey, Laura. 
Thank you, Crystal. Uh, he, he likes me. That's okay. It's a noise. <laughs> I'll so, see you guys in a bit. How do we get a one? Okay. So Lois Nelson Cristale from Laguna Beach, California. How are you, Lois? <laughs> I'm fine. We're kind of doing this little show here. And here's Wayne and Donna. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hey guys. Hello. Wayne, Donna, Hello. great to see you. <laughs> and our new guard dog. <laughs> Tell me his name again. Blue. Blue. Hey, Blue. How you doing, buddy? You want a biscuit? <laughs> you want a biscuit. So. We're all masked up and doing our business, and we did a nice little display here. You see, wonderful! Oh, nice, nice grouping by color there. Yeah, a little, a little bit of brightness, a little bit of gold, just a little bit. Just a little, just just a smidgen. A smidgen, you know. A few nice little pieces here. Wonderful. Some really killer pieces from Elmwood and Gordonsville. And for those of you who appreciate the layouts that you see at Cristale, it is always Lois who is working late into night to set it up. Great job, Lois, as usual. Thank you. So it's a little bit of everything, but we do have some amazing new pieces. Some of these beautiful old time you can see the size of them is quite large Classic. and this is a fabulous piece from gordonsville beautifully doubly terminated piece we've picked up a couple of new collections and so we have some real interesting pieces that you don't get to see very often uh vesper peak garnet oh wow <laughs> It's, those are few and far between, so you just don't see those very often. And that was collected by Bart Cannon, as Donna told me from afar. <laughs> and of course, some other really nice pieces. We got some beautiful new rotos. And those came out of an old collection, I'm guessing. Yeah, old collection. Fantastic. Luis, I like your mask, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a very classic, classic piece, the tetrahedrite. And this is from the Daily Judge Mine. Very classic locality. You just don't see these anymore. That came out of that old collection, too, we just picked up. Really beautiful pieces, new pieces we got. So we'll wave, you know, the usual a few little golds here and there. And of course, Wayne and Donna. Hello. Those are the those are the two most classic specimens that you have in the group. <laughs> <laughs> We're Thank sort of you, Brian. sitting here slowly petrified. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this, this hotel doesn't have a bar. Yeah, oh, well, you got to leave that hotel. Here. Yeah, I'm no tempted bar. to put you two on a lucite base. <laughs> oh, they could pose for you. <laughs> so that's pretty much what we're doing. We're we're here. We're doing our best, and you know, doing the making a making a day of it. Wonderful. You, you all look great, by the way. It's good to see your faces that you're good at your good humor. Well, you have to. I mean, it, it's very difficult to try to tell a customer to spend, a, you know, a huge amount of money when you can't even see their face. Absolutely. It's, it's just a different world. Well, but. huge applause to uh, all of you for making the trek out to, from California putting in such a fantastic exhibit. I mean, you Thank brought you. a lot of pieces, it's obvious. And really, I mean, always longtime supporters of the hobby. So thank you so much. Well, and thank you for taking time out of the day to be on our show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Hope to see you in Tucson. Thank you. Um, you will.
Thank okay, you. great. We're going to cut Bye. over to Patrick Bye. Arkfeld. Bye, Lois. Bye. We're going to cut to Patrick Arkfeld from Arkfeld Minerals. Patrick, are you there? Can you hear us? I can see your masked face, but I can't hear you. There you there go. You are. Now can hey, you hear me? Somebody. Uh, you know, I'm doing good. It, it's been good so far. Um, easy to keep up with everything because everybody's kind of coming in waves. It's not just slammed. Okay. So it's been good. Right. And it today is, is just the first day. So, um, yep. you know, we always know that things pick up a little bit over the weekend. So yeah, because it's just Friday. So. Yeah. 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 So we've been happy. We brought a lot of new stuff from Mexico and some red barrel and some good rotocrosite and a lot of fluorescent stuff. So it's, it's been a good show. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Now you were, can you share with us some of the things that you brought? I know you were teasing me about the red barrels. Yeah. So, so I uh, still have some to show, but they actually, let me flip the camera around. <laughs> Most of them already sold this morning, but we've got some pretty big crystals upwards of, of, of 10, 20, 10 to 15 carat size and nice small ones. Um, but but we, we, we sold most of those already today because it's, it's something you can't really shop around very easily. And those and are those got, are those are a, a new discover or a new find. They they just recently came out, correct? Uh, no, the red barrels recently came out of an old collection. They're they're old oh. red barrels. But okay. yeah. But the the rhodochrosite is new from Mexico this year. Um, from Hildalgo State. Uh, so way down south in Nanalkamai. Oh, the fire. Um, Hold that up again. I know Peter McGaw is leaning in a lot closer to his camera now. Oh, no, he yeah. just sat back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's some really cool ones. Yeah. So, some of them have a uh, pyrite on the matrix, but most of them are a shale matrix. A few had a uh, little pyrotite crystal on them. Oh, you can hear the dog, but yeah. These are kind of, these are probably my favorite thing that I've got here. And uh, then we've got a bunch of the Milpias shatakites, uh, chrysocolla, shatakite, quartz, combos, with little bits of malachite. They're very pretty, Real. very aesthetic. Yeah, they, they, they have a lot of color. And then, uh, let's see, the other thing that's kind of fun is new halite from Guanajuato. Wow, got to love that. Yeah, so, and, and the thing is, there's not much UV light in the room, but this is the day glow kind. It, it, it fluoresces with uh, just a little bit of sunlight. And the, the little black dots are purple fluorite inside of it. No kidding, wow. Yeah, so, and it, 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 you can see around, there's there's people and it's really spread out which is kind of nice this year because we have more yeah. space um so it's good um but I, i've really been i've always liked fluorescent minerals and i remember when the ones of these came out of zacatecas uh and you don't see them much anymore and then now they found new ones in in Wano, in Wanawato. so um let's see if there's one you can see the fluoride in. it might be hard to see on the camera but there's those Black specks are actually purple fluorite octahedrons. So we're getting a lot of them cut uh, to show the inclusions. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then we bought a bunch of stuff from Charles Trafham's uh, stuff after he passed. There's a bunch of more fluorescent opal, but these are from uh, Thomas Mountain. Uh, so they've got these ones have autonite in them. So another slightly radioactive opal. Um, and yeah, and here's Cal. Hey Cal, how you doing, man? <laughs> Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> Who is that masked man? <laughs> yeah, the masked man. We're all masked men this day. Yeah. yeah. Now, Patrick, you, you are still located up in Grants Pass in Oregon. Is that correct? You know what? We are actually in Fallbrook, California now. Oh, okay. We, great, yeah, great. we moved after Tucson last year, um, just to be the the, the drives from <laughs> from Grants Pass, Oregon, to the shows 
is it 20 hours almost every time. And we were tired of all the fires. So we left. And, and uh, they have fires in Southern California too, but in Grants Pass, it's, it, there's so much tree forest and it's all so dry. Yeah. It was just not uh, not enjoyable to live there anymore. With all well, no, smoke. especially, I mean, we've got crazy wildfires going on all in the Pacific Northwest right now. So Yeah, you know, and that's, that's where after this, uh, my next stop was driving to, to Portland to see some customers and they all got evacuated from their houses yesterday. So we're going to... Uh. We've got our fingers crossed that they are all okay, and we're going to see if that trip even happens now. So, absolutely, well, it's been a wild year. To everybody out there, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it is. It is not right. good. Well, well, Patrick, thank you so much for the time, man. Thank you for being a part of the Denver show, and thank you for being a part of this show. Yeah, thank you. You have a great day. All right, take care, buddy. Bye. Okay, we're going to cut over to uh, Safa Yu from Mintang. Is she online right with us? Safa, are you there? Um, yes. Oh, there's she okay. There, there yes. she is. Hey, I how are you, Safa? Good to see half of you. Good to see. Oh, should I? Sorry. I'm no, 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 no. Keep it on. I'm just, I'm just having a bit of fun. All right. <laughs> So how's the show going complaint. for you? I have no complaint. It's actually been quite smooth. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really yeah, happy really to hear that. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. And now we are here at the just the mineral event. And I might be too much glow in the case. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Why don't you show us some of your uh, some of your beautiful pieces there? There you go. Because as we know lately, the uh, the stronger thing in China is uh, Chlorides from either Yaogangxian of Hunan province or like things from Inner Mongolia. There's quite a bit of uh, new material coming out. And a lot of these fluorides have a very significant phantom um, look of them. Yeah, I could see that zoning from here. Yeah, it looks right. wonderful. Yeah. And also, Another new things I got lately is this calco pyrite with very strong iridescence and combo with calcite. Huh. Uh, did I focus it right? Lots of colorful things. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And also, I don't know what this year seems to be like quartz got quite fun i've got a group here all different features from basically all over the place in this world <laughs> well that is the one thing about quartz it has so many different varieties and each one is as collectible as the next right and currently i am doing um a little bit of a uh, low key kind of a show because we don't know how it's gonna be. But so right. far, the uh, the turnout is uh, pretty uh, pretty satisfactory. Well, and you I'm know, also great. Again, I was saying this is just the first day. You're about to go into the weekend where it usually picks up. So uh, we're hoping that trend continues again this year. In sure, I'm taking your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Loser buys the winner a beer. Why not? <laughs> And I'm also like offering some of my regular inventory for the 50% off for this one and only time at this show. Well, you know, that, that's a really good strategy and that's, uh, that's very considerate of you. Um, you're offering special pricing to people who can come out and uh, actually make the Denver right. show. So that shows a lot of consideration. So good on you. Exactly. From the Huang Gang Liang uh, discovery last year, this is your best chance because <laughs> I, I, I guarantee they will they will be bouncing back to their normal price after this show. <laughs> <laughs> Snap it up now! Right. Well, wonderful. Well, Safa, we mm -hmm. we hope that you continue to have a fantastic show. Uh, thank you for being a part of the Denver show. And thank you for being a part of our Mineral Talks Live Friday Happy Hour. Really appreciate it. Twice. I wish everybody stay healthy and we will keep this hobby just running as far as we go. <laughs> Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
you. Yep. All right. We're going to cut over to our final guest for the day. This is Evan Jones from Unique Minerals. And there he is, as there if he I'm is, here. as if I'm here. Hello. How are Good you guys doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. You too. Yeah. So here we are in Denver. Uh, as you can see, everyone is properly socially distanced. The booths are spread far apart. And everyone has uh, everyone has uh, um, uh, hand washing stations, hand sanitizer, and masks on. That's great. I mean, you, it's it looks like everyone's being as safe as they could possibly be for a mineral show in these times. Hello, hello. Can you hear us? I... Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can hear you. I'm not sure what happened there. Fine. You do not seem to have a whole lot of customers out there. Are the, right, uh, the crowds? Evan, are you back? Okay, Evan, why don't you kind of show us some of the stuff that you brought? Okay, so uh, why don't we start with some thumbnails? We've got a nice case of high end thumbnails here. Wow, great wow. organization of these. The lovely Melissa organized this by color. Of course. So here's our cases. If I can step over here to our larger display cases, some of our new items are in this case here. So let me show you some of our new things. Okay. Well, this is a fun piece. You've all heard of blue cap tourmalines Wait, from the term. What was that? What kind of tourmaline? <laughs> Very I'm, funny. I'm, just having, yeah. I'm having a bit of fun. Never this mind. is your namesake. <laughs> you should, you should, you should love this piece, and you should buy it. <laughs> if I collect it, I might. Oh uh, well, this is your start. Anyway, so, so here's. Tell us so about that, Evan. Well, it, this came out of a collection. Uh, it was a little dirty when we got it. We sent it to the lab and it came out just like you see here. So this is from uh, 1970, I believe the 74 pocket. Okay. So let's see what, oh, we've got, uh, you've heard of these Kiwi calcites. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, this one has the largest crystal that they found. That is about two inches tall. So these were found on petrified wood, and the uh, the color is coming from vanadium. So those are pretty neat. Cool. Here's something that just came in. As a collector of Arizona minerals, I love these. Uh, this is linerite and caledonite, but this particular specimen is from the Reward Mine in California. An exceptional uh, combination of those two minerals. That is a really, really nice combo piece there. Yeah, that's, that's a good Very one. Very aesthetic, and you don't see many of those at all. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is fun. This is a purple fluorite from the Wanzala Mine in Peru which is really more, you know, well known for the pink fluorites, but the purple ones are not as common. The habit on that one is crazy. Yeah, that is a, that is a crazy, crazy piece. Uh, let's see what else. Well, no doubt you've heard about the blue hemimorphites. Right. And of course we were able to secure a wonderful group of high end pieces. Wow. This is the most significant find of of something at the Oweila mine in years. I like it. Um, and just to show you, since we don't have a bathroom, we can't show you bathroom rocks, but we can, <laughs> but we can show you things that are inside the cabinet of the case. So here's a blue hemimorphite that's pretty fun. Take a look at this one. Yeah. Wow. Look at that color saturation. 
And we heard mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. that uh, uh, another dealer had done tests and confirmed that it is not uh, artificially colored yeah. by man. These are absolutely legitimate. Uh, there's been a lot of work done on these, a lot of analysis, and uh, they are completely natural. So so what's, the, what's the price range on those? Uh, you don't mind well, me asking. You'll see them. They're all over the place. There's every quality that you could want. Here, let's look at another one. You know, anywhere from $100 to, uh, you know, five or even six figures. Wow. Here's another exceptional piece. You can well, see this one. real question might be, what is your donation policy to museums? <laughs> no, yes, I know yes. everybody's very good about loaning too, so <laughs> thank you. Uh, I was getting that. Now here's one that's associated with calcite. Uh, in many cases, the blue crystals are penetrating the calcite crystals, indicating the calcite is younger in age. Um, I've actually trimmed some of these pieces and there are pockets of blue hemimorphite within the matrix. Um, so, uh, so, Evan, I have to ask, is there a mineralogical record article in the works on these? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to talk to Peter McGaw about that. But uh, there is a mineralogical record article uh, in the works on the Milpias mine. Oh, that's wow. That's going to be killer. Yeah. Here's one that's on stalactites. That is superb. Girthite stalactites. Now, speaking of Milpias, let's go over here. I can't let you guys go without looking at some nice Milpias pieces. <laughs> these are really exceptional. Here's a, here's a fun one. Now, these are from previous collections because my understanding is it's no longer producing. Is that correct? That is correct. The mine is closed permanently. OK. Uh, so That's all of these, great. you know, yeah, this, this was collected in 2010. Which pocket uh, is that one from? This is the electric blue pocket. Uh, yeah. Thusly named. I mean, that's, that's why it was named right there. Yep. Here's another one from the same pocket. Take a look at that. Oh. Even on a web camera, it looks mm -hmm. just stunning. The intense blue, it's almost yeah. like to meth. Here's one no. more. Evan, explain to people the whole process of the azurite, malachite, azurite overgrowth to give, uh, to give the color. Oh, well, the reason, let's go back to this piece. The reason these electric blue specimens are so intense is that the azurites the azurite crystals were completely replaced, you can see it here, completely replaced by malachite. And then a later generation of azurite grew over the top. Um, so now when light hits the crystal, it causes these, it bounces back with intense blue reflections because there's actually malachite underneath the, uh, the surface. And we go into quite a bit of depth in the article about the cause of this. So we're hoping that'll be coming out pretty soon. My co-author co is your co-host, uh, Peter McGaw. Right on. Now the very so last they, thing, yeah. uh -huh. we need to look at this. The very last major find that they made at Milpias was of this mineral. This is olivonite. So that is probably about a three centimeter olivonite crystal, which is a rare arsenate mineral. And these are truly world-class olivonites. And uh, this discovery was made just a few months before the mine shut forever. Wow. So, so I could keep going. I got a couple more rocks. We just got this one back from the lab. This is really, really, oh, let me get it here. Now, what, what dye did you use to give it that color? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Stop, stop this talk with of dye. 
Okay, so this is a blue fluorite from Illinois. And this just came back from the lab. It, it needed some prep work. It was kind of dirty. But how's that for a giant blue fluorite crystal? My God. You are it's, what's blue in Denver today. Yeah, we got the blues, huh? How about that? <laughs> well, we've also got the reds. There's a red cloud. Oh. That's a fantastic piece. What great saturation on that. And, and the way that it contrasts with a matrix just pops. That's yeah. a, that should be flying off your shelf. So anyway, oh, one last thing. This is kind of fun. For those of you who like metallics, a few years ago, there was a discovery of pyrite uh, in Norway. Huh. So not too far from Kongsberg, apparently there was a guy uh, building his house and when he put in the driveway, he discovered a bunch of pyrites. So this is uh, the largest matrix piece of these pyrites from Norway. The matrix is really interesting. It's a mixture of quartz, sulfur, and sphalerite. It's really weird. The habit is the very, the habit is very interesting. <laughs> Get too. out of my head. <laughs> No, I love the story behind that. I mean, new pieces coming to market, newly found, and it wasn't because of mining. It was because the man was changing his driveway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, and, and several hundred crystals came out, but very few of them on Matrix. So Eloise, I think you need this for your museum. Well, I think she might have had to go. She had to leave a little bit early, but uh, we'll, we'll pass the message along to her. Yes, okay. I do. I do. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's from it's it's from Europe. You have to have it. Fantastic. So uh, let me switch my myself back on here. There I am. Awesome, awesome. So Evan, show us one more specimen, the most precious specimen that you have in the booth. One more your specimen. Wife, your wife. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> oh, she wasn't prepared. <laughs> the, lovely, the lovely Melissa Jones. Hi. How are you, Melissa? I'm good, how are you? Good, great to see you. Thanks for being a part of the show and sorry for check, springing this on out, you. Check out the cool Grateful Dead mask. I love it, I love it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, here we are. So Evan, it, it almost good. needs to go with that. It, you know, we don't even have to say this, but typically, uh, or I've been to Denver a few times where you've done an extra ticket show. That's your Grateful Dead tribute band that you, you play in. Uh, right. No chance of that this year, correct? Oh, no chance. No, we yeah. haven't played a show since early March. We're just, we're just on hiatus right now. I've been of taking the, uh, the time to... Uh, practice my singing, practice my guitar playing, and uh, we'll come back better and stronger than ever, hopefully when this is all over. Awesome, it's always great to watch you play, man. I, I enjoy those nights very much. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man, I really appreciate it. This all has been right. a lot of fun. I wanna thank you guys for hosting this uh, virtual meeting. This is really cool. Hey, it's our pleasure. We wanna thank you for being a part of it and taking time out of your day. Thank you so much, brother. Okay. Thank All right. you. Bye. Right. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so that's going to bring us to the end of our show. We are about uh, 10 minutes past the hour now. So um, we've gone a little bit long, but we want to thank all of you for participating. Peter, I don't know if uh, you want to go ahead and add anything or any thoughts in regards to what we've just seen and uh, uh, your thoughts of Tucson. Yeah. Oh, just uh, everybody. He be careful. I mean, it's it, this is at least for the time being. This is the new reality of what shows are going to look like. The shows that happen. So um, it's a learning experience for us. We've been waiting to see what Denver could look like. And of course, this is the commercial show. This isn't the club show uh, without exhibits and a bunch of other things like that. So our fingers are crossed. Right on. Okay. Well. 
for everyone who tuned in, thank you very much. We hope you uh, enjoyed the show and had a little glimpse of what's new and what's going on. We wish all of the dealers over at Denver to have a very successful show. And again, thank all of you for participating. Have a wonderful and a very, very safe weekend. Mahalo for being a part of our family. Take care now. Take care, everybody.